going to use a map, specifically a hash map, to count occurrences of strings inside of a text file. We need to create a map. So here we're declaring it, and it's going to go from strings to integers. And the string is the first parameter is called the key. The second is called the value. And what this lets us do is for each string, we can associate a number, an integer. And we need to create a new map, uh, but you need to declare what type of map it is. We're going to use a hash map. And when you uh, type or paste this code in, you're going to have some import issues. You're going to add the import for the hash map and the, uh, let's see, hash map and then the other regular map. This is also technically an interface. Let's go and fix our imports up here. You see that there's four Java util imports. We can take care of all these at one time by just importing everything inside java.util. <clears throat> we can do the same thing with IO. Just input every import everything in the IO library. So that gets rid of the errors that we had. We're going to print out this hash map. Of course, it's not going to be very exciting because there's nothing in it. And then we're going to open up a file. As to how to read the file is up to you. Now, what I did is I wrapped a scanner around it. So I used a scanner and wrapped it around this file that I uh, technically opened. Um, and then I did a while loop while, uh, once you wrap the scanner around it, while scanner dot has next, and then I just use next to import it. And I stripped out the punctuation first. So what you see down here, let's see, the variable word is a string. It's one word with all the punctuation removed. And there's a loop that loops around. And I've limited this loop to go only 10 times because uh, this text file is a huge number of words. I don't know, maybe 10,000 words. And I did not want to, uh, when I'm testing this, I don't want to just go through 10,000 words. So let's give this a run here and see what we get. So here are the first words coming out, first 10 words. And here is the word count after it's filled up. Before it's filled up, it's empty. Word count is empty. You see it right here. Um, I just printed out a couple little file um, piece of file information it's fine so I got the 10 words I put them into word count now how did I do that it's the hash map word count dot put and it always goes first the key then the value so whatever word is and then the value of one because I saw it once and you see that the appeared once and all the other words appeared once so what we're going to do now, or what we'll do next, is increase this from 10 to, I don't know, a bigger number.